Hey guys, Kev here, and that's not the right intro. Am I about to do an unboxing in my truck? Where'd all these sparkling water cans come from? What the hell is going on? All right, guys, in all seriousness, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Uh, today, we have an unboxing from Lefty EDC. Or an unbagging, rather. <laughs> unboxing humor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about what's in here. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Today, I've got my CJRB Scoria. That beautiful mirrored edge. Um... Love this knife. One of my favorites. Don't get to carry it a whole lot because as a reviewer, the time you get to spend with your own personal favorites decreases. I guess that's a sacrifice you make, right? So, Kevin over at Lefty EDC. I'm sure a lot of you got... <laughs> Oh man, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with him. Uh, I remember I first started watching his channel, I don't know, almost a year ago, and I remember the first ever video I ever watched from him, uh, I watched while I was exercising, while I was working out, and uh, I kind of thought to myself, you know, this is a good channel to watch when I'm like driving or something, because like he, he talks a lot, he gets on like these rants sometimes, like you know, that's just really great entertainment for, you know, when you're doing something, you know, you want to have something to listen to, so instead of like a podcast or an audiobook or something, you've got Kev ranting about detents. Um, so yeah, I've been a big fan of his channel, and then recently, I would say we kind of became friends. I mean, I consider him a friend. Maybe he doesn't consider me a friend. <laughs> but, okay. It was actually thanks to him that I became part of the Pass Around group that I, a lot of you guys know, I've recently got into, which has been exposing me to all kinds of new knives and stuff. And, oh man. Oh gosh, okay, okay, all right. What do we want to start with? Let's start with the one that everyone's here to see and the one that I'm most excited about. You guys probably know what it is. It's from Devo Knives, which is Kevin's knife company that he has with uh, CM designs, Colin Mason Pierre, I believe. Really love the box, or not box, but the packaging. I can't tell if I'm smelling leather or just the hands of everyone else who's handled this. Let's go ahead and get in here. Oh, yeah. This is the stout. And so this is this is Devo Knives' first. I mean, why am I even trying to give an introduction? You all know what it is. Like they they've been making waves recently. Like they right out the gate they were making bangers. I believe this one is the Kunwu prototype. I gotta say it's a little bit bigger than I expected. Got a beautiful edge on here. Not sure who did that one, but. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Okay, I've said before that I'm easy to please. If you give me a good blade with a comfortable handle, I'm happy. And... That's exactly what you get here. The action is also amazing. I know Kevin is really big on the action. I'm not, like, like, I appreciate a really good action. It's not, like, the biggest thing to me, but, man, this is an excellent, excellent action. That is really, really cool. So it's interesting. I, I got to say, Kevin has an eye for ergonomics. If I remember right, and if you're watching this, Kevin, you can correct me in the comments, but... The very first time this knife was thought up, it was drawn on a napkin. And, I mean, I gotta say, ergonomics are something that's very, 
hit or miss. Like it's got to be precise. And yeah, Kevin has a real grasp on what makes ergonomics. Very comfortable in just the lines, but also the way they've knocked everything down. Like it's all rounded up here. Very, very comfortable. Thought out his poon spoon, as you'd expect. We're back. Had to take care of something. So as I was talking about the ergonomics, yeah. Yeah, I mean, these scales are not contoured, they're just flat, but the knife just feels very hand filling. You got an excellent, excellent choke up position here. That little poon spoon works great. Even when I'm back here, you know, choked down, the way they've rounded everything here, the wire clip, helps things to not really like poke and prod your hand too much. So that's awesome. That's really, really great. Um, man, that action is pretty nice. I, I must say, I also like how they did the um, access to the lock bar. Instead of like scooping it away here like people typically do, it almost seems like they raised the this part. They, they like raised a little bolster part and then they've got like a little chamfer in there. And yeah, I mean, it's easy, it's easy to disengage. I like it. I like it. So as I already said, um, Kevin partners with Colin Mason Pierre uh, for this, for their, their designs here. And I've never handled any of Colin's uh, designs because I'll be completely honest. Not a whole lot of them really speak to me and my style. This knife does, though. And it's interesting because it, it does have a lot of kind of his look. But, I don't know, something about this knife just really stuck out to me a little bit more. It's also interesting because Kevin and I kind of have very different um, metrics that we're trying to hit with what makes a good EDC knife. You know, he's all about those utility cuts, and I, I can appreciate a knife that's good at utility cuts, but it's not the end-all be-all for me. However, this knife, I mean, I could tell, utility cuts all day long, and look at the way it tucks into your hand right there when you're up here. Very comfortable. Like, everything about the, the ergonomics on this knife are very well thought out. That, that's what I'm taking away from this, these first impressions, is that the ergonomics are just flawlessly executed and, and thought out. Um, but I can also tell, I mean, we've got a fair chunk of blade stock. I also love how the rounding is done on the spine. This wedge here is really, really cool. The stone wash on the blade, you guys know I love stone washes, and that is a gorgeous, gorgeous stone wash. That is, that, that, that's probably a solid A in terms of stone washes. I'd give this like a 95%. Um, okay, get, getting off track though. Uh, but I could tell that this knife is also going to be good for cuts, like long slices, because, yeah, it's a sheep's foot blade. It does look like there's just a hint of belly, though. Let's grab this other box. Yeah, just the slightest hint of belly, and that's going to allow it to, you know, basically increases your sharpened edge length, and that allows you to get long cuts. Um, and it's very comfortable for cuts like that. Um, really, really nice. The micarta is okay. I've seen better, but I've also seen a lot worse. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I believe this is from the, the Kunwoo OEM. I think they went with QSP for the, the pre-order. I was going to order one when they first did it, but I was broke at the time. Didn't get in on it, but I'm so glad I get to handle this knife now. Um, that hole is positioned perfectly for the reverse flick. I was kind of expecting it to be this way when uh, when I knew I was going to be able to handle one of these. I knew it was going to feel like this because of how Kevin is with his reverse flicks, but that might be the best reverse flicker I've ever handled. Now I'm not a detent diva, and I'm you know I'm not a reverse flicking connoisseur, but that feels pretty damn good to me. Makes good sound, too. I uh, love how when the blade closes, all this matches up. That's really, really cool. 
Um, okay, we spent too long on this. Again, I will review this knife, but uh, it'll get its own dedicated video. Right off the bat, I really like everything. Oh, they have stop pins that move with the blade. Okay. Right now, my only complaint is that there's no jimping right here. But it's rounded over. It's nice and soft. It's It feels good. It's just I like grippiness. So that's like my only complaint right now. Um, that's also interesting. On the lockup, they have like the little um, the lock bar insert like sticks out above the titanium to lock up with the blade. I don't know if I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Again, guys, you know me. We don't review very many high end knives on the channel, so maybe that's a, a common practice with high end stuff I've just never seen before. Who knows? But. Overall impressions of the Devo Knives Stout, I am very, very impressed. And I kinda, I kinda thought I would be. Like, everyone loves those knives. I don't think I've heard anyone pick up one of the Stouts and be like, yeah, this sucks. Maybe that review is out there. Who knows? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next knife. Actually, before we do that, <laughs> little bag of goodies. Let's see what we got here. Do some advertising for Kevin, as if I haven't already been doing a lot of that. Got detent. Okay, there we go. There's his There's his logo. Really cool. I need to get some swag made one of these days. I say as if I'm like a big time YouTuber. <laughs> Bottle opener. Fits the whole theme. You know, all their knives are named after beers and stuff, so... Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's get on to the next knife. There's... Alright. We're back. I had to cut the video again because someone parked right behind me and they were blaring music and YouTube's weird about music, copyright and everything, so... Had to slow it down. Then they left. I don't know why they pulled in there. Maybe just to annoy me. Okay, so the next knife we're going to be taking a look at is also one that I've been wanting to look at for a while, like ever since it came out. It's from this brand here. Vosteed. Uh, and their logo, I, I hadn't really noticed this, but their logo is like a horse with a V on its head in a horseshoe. I didn't really think there was anything equine about their brand, but I guess Vosteed, it's like a steed or... What what the heck does Vosteed mean? I've got my computer off here to the right. Let's look that up. What does Vosteed mean? It just goes to their, just goes to their stuff. So I don't know what Vosteed means. Probably doesn't matter. But, let's, ugh. okay, wow, the packaging is a lot more than I was expecting. I mean, get off the steering wheel. There we go, it's like a, Hard box. Is it a tin? What? What? It's tin. You gotta be kidding me. That is, that's, okay. Okay, that's cool. Packaging. They get a tin out of tin. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, I'm in trouble today. Okay, so we have the, this is the nightshade, the budget version. I first saw this knife long time ago is getting showed off by Jared Neves and at the time I remember uh, I was at work or actually was I I was doing something uh, it was during the summer I think and I was doing something with my grandfather we were out in the mountains we're getting ready to bring cows into the, the pastures and we found a patch of wild rhubarb and my mom uh, she makes rhubarb jam and rhubarb pie and cobblers and all kinds of stuff and so we stopped and we were harvesting this rhubarb and 
uh, you know, it's not really hard to, you know, snap the rhubarb stalks off and then you know, pile them up and stuff. But as we're going along, you know, bent over and stuff, snapping these off, I thought to myself, you know what would be really nice is if I had a knife with a curved blade where I could, like, you know, grab the stalks and then cut like that. And, you know, mushroom knives and, you know, the hawkbill blades, um, you know, those are commonly used for that kind of stuff, like in guards and stuff. But I was like, you know, I just don't, I don't know if I really want that. And then that evening, I got home and I watched a video by Neves Knives and there was a Vostede Nightshade. Or at the time, it was Daedalith. And I was like, that that's exactly what I was thinking I wanted. And so I always want to check one out and then never got around to it and blah, 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 blah. So, Lefty EDC offered me the opportunity to take a look at one. I said, sure, and if I like it enough, he said I can keep it. So, let's see if I like it enough. Uh, I believe these are made by Kaiser and right away, it feels very Kaiserish. Uh, I like the pocket clip. Flat screws, it's recessed, it's long, low, got just enough of a little scoop there. Feels pretty good. Jimping all around, crown spine with, with some nice jimping up there. We've got like a white pivot collar, that's interesting. Alright, let's give it a flip. It feels exactly like I was expecting it to feel. Okay, lock up. Looks good. Kaiser has been killing it with actions lately. Um, I think Kaiser probably does the best budget act, maybe the best actions in action sessions, maybe the best actions in general. That was me trying to fail it. It's interesting. You have this like droopy looking flipper tab, you know, like. And poor knife can't quite get it up and usually that means that the knife isn't going to like usually that means you, you you lose a lot of leverage right when you do that but the detent on this knife is dialed so that yeah it still works just fine really broad leaf shape kind of kukri blade yeah, decent stone wash on here not as good as on the stout but decent 154 cm steel Feels pretty sharp. Nice crown spine. Good thickness, full flat grind. This is gonna slice like a beast, I can already tell you. And yeah, the way you hold it, like it just points that blade forward. This is... This is very interesting. Like really, really interesting. I'm gonna have to use this a lot and see what I think of it. Cause I could tell like, like I was talking about harvesting that rhubarb in a grip like this all day, every day. Heck, even getting it like this, going in there if you grab the stalks up here and then you cut down like that. I'm really curious to see what this is like in just kind of day-to-day -day EDC. Let's go ahead and show it closer to the camera so you guys can, can see. I don't usually do videos in my truck. I did it for the, the joke today, and then I fear I just keep going. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm going to EDC it a lot. You guys know me, and uh, we'll see what I think. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this long video up. All right, guys, that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this show. Uh, thank you again to Kevin over at Lefty EDC for sending these all the way out to New Mexico for me to take a look at. I really appreciate it. Especially, I appreciate you loaning this in for a little bit. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten to check out this knife. So I really, really appreciate it. You guys should definitely go subscribe to Lefty EDC. If you're subscribed to me and you're not subscribed to Lefty EDC, what are you doing? <laughs> but, again, it's because of him that I get to show you guys knives like this, even though you've already seen them other places. But you guys get my unique take on it, and that's why you guys are here. Because you want to hear what I have to say for some reason. But yeah, really appreciate it. Again, go check out Lefty EDC. Also, his live shows are pretty fun. Um, <laughs> 
actually the first and only live I've ever done was on his channel. And I remember we set up the, the live stream and earlier that day, I'd had an exam. So I took my exam, come home, do the live stream, and I had a ton of fun, but I was also like super tired and kind of out of it. And I didn't really know how the live streams worked, so I was kind of, I don't know, I, I, I was, I had a blast. I feel like a couple of times though, if you're watching the live stream, I'm just there like just staring. <laughs> so, but great live shows. I try and catch them whenever I can if I'm not busy. Uh, really funny, just shooting the shit over there. Good, good guy. So, that's gonna be it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all that YouTuber-y stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.